I think that we should leave the internet in the hands of people who know what they're doing, i.e. the companies. At least admit to me that excessive regulation stifles innovation. That's not the case when it comes to these essential inputs. The United States had this right back in 1996. We said, if you're a telephone company or an access provider, you're just a telephone company or access provider. You don't get to muck with the content, with the stuff that's going across the internet. We got rid of that in 2002, and ever since, internet access has been completely unregulated, which gives these enormous companies the ability to filter, block, do whatever they want with no legal constraint. I'd say just go back to what we were doing with regulation back in 1996. We had the right idea. If that was so great, then why did we change it up? I'm not convinced that we changed it. I think the lobbyists for the companies that really want to make greater profits changed this up. But they're Americans. They are Americans, and there's nothing wrong with making a profit. But for these basic utilities like water and electricity and internet access, we want their profits to be constrained so that all of us get service. You say that you're for internet freedom, and yet you want laws to govern the internet. It's not, again, the internet where I want laws. It's internet access. We used to think that competition would protect American consumers, and so we should just deregulate the whole sector. That didn't happen. Because it is so expensive to build this infrastructure, we've ended up with a very few companies and no regulation. So we have the worst of all possible worlds. No regulatory oversight and no competition. We took a very different step to phone service. We said, we're going to make sure that everybody in America has it, and that they have it at a reasonable rate. We should do the same thing with internet access. Well, Susan, I have bad news for you. We can't travel back in time to 1996, so we're just going to have to deal with the way things are. Internet access is really important, particularly younger Americans. If they're not online, they feel like they're not quite breathing. Congress people and representatives in Washington need to understand this is a really important political issue and that this is an issue on which elections will fall or rise. Unless we get to the point where people see this as as salient an issue as education and health and energy, we're sunk. Because right now, it's all in obscurity. No one's paying attention, and these companies are getting away with murder. Thank <laughs> you.